I had my first experience when I was 21. I went and spent a month in New York when I was in college. And I had, you know, come grown up in Kentwood and suddenly I have this month in New York and it's the early 80s. It was like a coming home. It was like, this is my tribe. These are my people. You know, it felt like a homecoming. You know, in Grand Rapids, it's like you're, you feel like you're, you're hitting this cultural ceiling. You know, it's like you're that palm tree at the Meyer Gardens and you want to break through, you know? New York seemed like the jungle. New York is is this incredible um, kind of mythical city for me um, and for a lot of people, particularly people that um, are identify themselves as creatives in some way. The art magazines, the best galleries are there, the critics, the curators, some of the best, you know, most important museums, the Whitney, the Metropolitan. But not just that, there's a, you know, there's a whole, you know, all the Woody Allen movies you've grown up watching, falling in love with, and the music, you know, Lou Reed and the Velvet Underground, is all about that backdrop of New York. Being in that environment, um, for us, um, represented being in close proximity to a lot of um, really great um, gates that could open up and and provide um, new territory and new um, kind of elevated success. A lot of times we fail because it's not meeting our expectations, you know, so it feels like everything's wrong. Um, a big example of that for me um, would be um, when our family moved to New York. We had this notion that we were going to be there at least 10 years. We thought we'd buy a place, live there for 10 years, sell it, make a killing, and move to the south of France and sort of grow old there, you know. And uh, we lasted a year. Uh, we came back not quite with our tail between our legs, but we, we, it was a hard year and um, it didn't turn out like we thought. We thought we'd maybe be friends with Bono, you know. Our, our ability to adapt, to move slowly, our ability to drain the money out of our savings moved rapidly. And so um, on a lot of levels it felt like a failure. And once that is kind of out of the bag, it's really hard. It's like, you know, those tents, you know, it's like, how do you, how do they ever get it back in this bag? It's just too small. You know, it never really did fit back in because there's this expansiveness. I, I, I've had all kinds of failures. And, um, you know, the way I think, I've come to think of failure, I think of, I feel like there's a coin that's been minted and it's got failure on one side and success on the other. And like every time I start a painting or I begin a venture of some sort, it's like I'm tossing that coin in the air. And I don't know, you know, and it, it could just keep ending on failure, you know, for a while, like it would if I was tossing a penny. So I kind of feel like they're minted together, they go together, and just to make it more confusing. Sometimes I think I've failed and actually it was a success, I just didn't understand.